So have you ever struggled to find a perfect supplier of something that you're selling? Have you ever struggled to find someone that can bring the perfect product that you're distributing further? Or have you ever struggled to find a perfect customer of yours? So you've been finding people who are not exactly something you're looking for, but they had different competences. They were not really qualified. Or have you ever um, struggled to find a date that would fit your expectations, for example? Well, this happens to all of us and today I will talk about taking advantage of using funnels to your uh, advantage, let's say. So how can you take advantage of using funnels so that they're gonna bring you the perfect result of any kind of partner you want. And I'm talking about business partner, I'm talking about life partner as well, funny enough, it's very similar. I'm talking both about partners that are delivering products to you, so the people who are selling to you, I'm talking about partners who are uh, going to buy from you. So how do you find perfect people like this? Well, we are implementing this right now in our company currently, and this works out worked out perfectly. So we were looking to get um, product suppliers in a certain country. We were looking to get uh, at least five or ten meetings with new suppliers and we had certain requirements and it was really hard to find suppliers like this so we couldn't find them anywhere we were just like um, you know bumping against the wall because every single supplier we found did not fill our requirements so we've spent hours and hours figuring out the best supplier we were uh, knocking all the doors, metaphorically, and we're asking them, hey, do you do this and that? And all the suppliers were not really qualified, so something was wrong with them. And uh, the problem was that we've spent so much time to qualify them, to meet them, that the business couldn't run. And we need suppliers constantly. We need new people who can deliver what we want. We want products as fast as possible, right? So that was a struggle for us. And, um, well, the way we solved it is we've set up a process, a system that works. So we've got one of the, one of the people who's working in the company, very creative person, to create a system to get unlimited amount of suppliers. So instead of just like searching and finding the best possible suppliers, we decided, all right, we're just going to target every single person out there, every single person that could potentially fit to our requirements so you know instead of like reading about their company for hours instead of investing so much time to figure out whether this supplier is perfect we decided okay uh, we gonna find all of them everyone with the keyword that we were looking for so um, the keywords, the product we're looking for. We just posted the keyword on websites like Alibaba. We just posted the keyword on Yellow Pages on Google. And we decided to suck the database of all of them. Well, 99% of them, they would not really fulfill our requirements. You know, our requirements are not just like, hey, um, you just have to be a supplier of a certain product, obviously. but you know, like we just took a database of all of them. And then we got the girl, the very smart girl in our companies to sit there and mail all of them, but with the least list of our requirements. So we had a big list of requirements just to funnel them through. So the first requirement we had, are they in the specific city that we mentioned? So we wanted suppliers from this certain city. So we sat down before, me and my partner, me and my business partner together, we sit down before we're talking, all right, so what are the requirements that we need? What is the certain thing we need to have in regards to this product, in regards to the supplier? Like what requirements we want the supplier to fill? And we're sitting there and we're like, okay, we want him to be from uh, this certain city. We want the product to have a certain sugar content, no more than, uh, let's say, 15% or like we just agreed on a certain number. We want the price to be X 
X amount of dollars when it arrives in the harbor in Germany. This was our harbor we decided to work with and we wanted this certain price. We wanted to have certain certificates. We wanted to have certain food certificates and we wanted to have uh, chemical and biological analysis of the product before. So when we worked with partners who can actually deliver that and we don't want to talk with anyone further if we we're sure they wouldn't deliver that. So it would save a lot of time. Imagine what happened before we would talk with partners and after some time, after, you know, weeks of conversations with them, we're asking them like, hey, can you deliver microbiology call and chemical analysis and they're like hey I don't have that I can't do that and you know we're screwed right so we wasted time so this time we decided to ask this up front we wanted to have a list of all the conservatives well preservatives that's the right word we wanted to have a we wanted to have them to guarantee the capability the maximum capability of how much they can deliver per month, how many containers, right? So let's say our the person we're selling to it have has certain requirements, right? If we're selling to chains, chains gonna be like, hey, I want more of your products because the product works well, people are buying this. So where's the product? I can't be like, I'm sorry, we don't have any more. I wanna be sure. So this is why we have uh, them to guarantee us certain monthly stocks that they can deliver, the amounts. And we have certain lead time guarantees. So let's say our purchaser, the person who's buying from us is telling us, hey, I need this product, I need this uh, to be here in six weeks. So we need to have six weeks and one day to make sure that they're going to deliver this. From when we tell them to do so to when they can deliver to Harbor. We want to have this amount, or, or you, you know, like even faster, right? Because then we need to get this to the source. So we need to have the specific lead time agreed on. Well, we need to have them guarantee us a price for a whole year. We can't agree price fluctuations. Like we can't allow, we can't say we're going to buy from you and then the product is good. And then the chain that is selling our products is telling us, hey, I want to I wanna buy more. We can't tell them, hey, it's going to be double now. The price is double. Like we are selling certain product, the price has to be constant or it can fluctuate a little bit. We can't be dependent on the seasons, for example. Like, for example, if we were trading pepper, we can't be dependent on the, you know, like pepper trading prices and they do fluctuate. So we want to have a certain agreement where they can offer us a stable price and this, you know, that's going to save our ass, you know. Uh, we want this partner to sign an agreement that in case the container comes with bugs and you know there's other problems like microanalysis is not done properly accordingly to what they you know promised us in papers we want them to uh, take our responsibility for this and get back the container give us back that money so we are asking them in this email hey would you agree to do that we want them to provide the specification of how they produce that. We want them to provide the warehousing methods. We want them to tell us in what kind of bags are they packaging the products. Is it bulk? Is it five ki kilograms? Is it 10 kilograms? Like, how does that look like? What, did the, what does that look like? Can they provide the product with a certain expiry date or not? We want to agree on that beforehand. We want to make sure they're gonna give us exclusivity for a certain state we're gonna be sure about that we're asking them hey we're gonna buy from you certain quantities we can agree to certain quantities we want exclusivity though we don't want our competitors to sell the exact same thing from them right and uh we want we want to know whether they are already trading to order let's say we are currently trading in Europe, we want to know whether they are trading to other European countries so that we're sure that they can fulfill European Union rules and regulations. So if you are in the States, you would like to know whether they are already trading to other states in the US so you know that they can already comply with federal states so that it would work with your state laws as well, most likely, right? So that's, that, that makes it safer. Uh, what are they going to give us samples during our visit? So we're going to go and visit them and want to see the samples. We want to see their office, we want to see their factory. We want to see the trees that they are planting, 
whatever they're you know, like producing on. We want to see everything and uh, whether they can do a meeting, whether they can take time to meet us during the dates when we are traveling to their country. So, um, so those are all the requirements. We know that before, and this is our perfect partner. I'm not saying that this is possible to find a perfect supplier like this, right? But what I'm saying is that this is better to figure this out before you go for meetings or before you invest hours of talking with them. So we're gonna we're gonna mass mail, we're gonna we're gonna message every single person in the business in a certain country, we're gonna mail everyone with those questions and out of all those people, we're going to get answer from 10% of them and maybe 2 or 3% is going to actually be able to fulfill our requirements. But we're going to find this perfect candidate because we are mass mailing or because we are like targeting everyone. It's like a war and you're like freaking shooting anywhere and eventually you're going to shoot someone, right? I mean, I'm not being aggressive here, I'm, you know, just as a metaphor, but it makes sense, right? So you don't want to just think... You don't want to put all the eggs in, in one basket and be like, all right, we're going to talk with this partner and this partner. You just want to shoot anywhere, literally everywhere. Like you want to cover all the angles and you just want to funnel people. So you have this huge funnels everywhere and you put them in a funnel and then you just ask them questions and you're making sure whether this is the perfect one and you're going to end up with the, with the perfect one eventually. And, you know, funny enough, you could do this the, the same with your customers. You can just target everyone, mail everyone, and then qualify them accordingly to your requirements. You could do this with your relationship partners as well. You could do this with girls. Like, you could just go to Tinder, right? And you could mass message every single girl in the radius of 20 miles or kilometers. And what's going to happen is they're going to all answer you, or, like, 50% is going to answer you, and then you're going to ask certain questions you know not, not you, you can't list it like in the business right you, you you need to wait for the answers but you can ask certain questions to get them to be accordingly to your requirements if that makes any sense to you so if you are looking for a person who likes traveling if you're looking for a person who would date you on fridays and the person who would go to the gym with you because you like that and you can only meet on fridays for instance you're gonna be able to do that but you're not gonna do this effectively. This is not irrational to just swipe girls and look at them and be like, um, all right, this one I like a lot and talk with her for hours, even though she does not fulfill your requirements, right? This is not for you. What's for you though is a girl who can meet you on Fridays, go to the gym with you and that is into traveling. So you're gonna ask her, hey, are you into traveling? Yes or no? Okay, she's not into traveling, next one. You find the next one, the next one's like, yes, I'm into traveling. You ask her whether she wants to meet on Friday. She can't meet on Friday, you're right, next one. You find next one, she's into traveling, she can meet on Friday and she fulfills the other requirement of yours, which is she likes going to the gym with you. Perfect, right? That's a perfect fit for you. And the way for you to find perfect fit, whether it's a you know supplier, your customer, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, is to just target every single possible angle and funnel everyone in through your filters. That's the most effective, the most rational way. That's way more effective than what I did before and what I did before. It was, it was like you know just spending too much time and just trying to message uh, one one girl that I liked or like trying to message one customer just 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 to push with this one customer and go there and fly there, pay for tickets, invest money, invest time, go there and just, just to figure out that they don't fulfill requirements. But what do you need to have first before you can do this process? What you need first before you can do this process is you need to know what you want, right? So you need to know what you want with business. Like for example, if it's a supplier, you need to have a list of things that you actually need. If it's a girl, you need to know what you like. If it's, a, if it's your customer, you need to know what kind of customers you're looking for. So the first step is write down everything you want or agree uh, with the people you're working with. What exactly do you want? What would be the perfect situation from every possible angle? Step two, message everyone, like everyone in the niche, right? Like message every possible girl in the area or message every possible um, supplier in a certain country, certain city, message everyone. Step three, filter them, funnel them, filter them. You're gonna find out the perfect fit. And this is 100% proven to work. People in my team do that, I do that. And this is very, very rational method, very effective. I hope it's gonna help you. I hope it makes sense. Uh, if not, you can ask me any questions in comments below. I'm going to personally answer all of them.
make sure to press the subscribe button as well so you're gonna get more videos like this. Thank you and see you in the next one.